Lawmakers consider a plan for drought relief around the Colorado River. It's a strategy negotiated between seven U.S. states and two in Mexico to conserve water. RFD TV Sarah Mock has more on the dramatic impacts for American agriculture. Thousands of communities and farmers in the lower Colorado basin are in crisis. We are currently experiencing its worst drought in recorded history. The period from 2000 through 2018 is the driest 19 year period in over 100 years. The combined water storage in Lake Mead and Lake Powell stands currently at 40% of capacity, which leaves 55 million acres of irrigated farmland and 40 million urban residents at risk, facing severe cuts to their allotment if the decline continues. There has been a lot of conservation and partnership on the river, and that's what's kept us out of shortage to date. Uh, but the drought contingency plans aren't designed to keep us out of shortage. They're designed to keep us out of crisis. And that's what we see on the horizon. Though recent precipitation has offered some hope, experts and lawmakers say one good year does not offset two decades of drought. Even under the contingency plan, the impact on farmers throughout the lower river basin could be extreme. Uh, in the agricultural sector within Central uh, Arizona Project Service Area, they will be losing all of their Colorado River water in probably the first, after the third year of the plan. They will uh, go back to pumping groundwater. Both state and local funders, as well as farmers themselves, will have to take on some of the financial burden of the transition from surface to groundwater. But lawmakers and state officials say their plan, agreed to by all basin states, is the only way forward. Everybody is going to feel some pain. If we can get through this, if we can get this through Congress, Arizona will enter into shortages on the Colorado sooner and in larger amounts. But it's essential to conserving and protecting against overallocation of the Colorado River system. This is our new reality in the desert southwest. Official legislation to enable this plan is set to be introduced in the House by the end of this week. States are asking lawmakers to act before the end of April. For RFD TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. And Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva, he's expected to introduce legislation in the House this week to approve the package despite some opposition from a California irrigation district.